Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about a very important subject and that is database link. We're going to be looking at how to create a database link. First and foremost, a database link is a schema object in one database that allows you to access objects in another database. So the way it works is, for instance, you have two different databases. You can connect from one database to another database to access information from the second database. Now, the other database can either be an Oracle database or any other database. Now, if you're going to be connecting to an Oracle database, you can just create the link, either public or private link, and connect to the database. But then if you're going to be connecting to other databases like my SQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and any other relational database for that matter, you'll be using what is known as heterogeneous services, which is a little bit beyond the scope of this lecture. But in the near distant future, I'll do a video that will talk about heterogeneous services as it has to do with database connectivity, okay? So another thing you need to understand is the fact that you need to have the create database link system privilege for you to be able to create any kind of private database link. And then also for you to create a public database link, you must have the create public database link system privilege. Now, the dictionary view to query to get information about database views is known as dba underscore db underscore link. So, for this lesson, we're going to be creating two pluggable databases. And then we'll create a database link to connect the other database. I hope that is clear enough. So, let's jump right in. The first thing I want to do is to open my terminal. We'll be doing that with the database configuration assistant. Okay, so for that, I'll type dbca and enter. Okay, so now that we are here at the database configuration assistant page, the next thing we want to do is to click on manage pluggable databases and then click on next. And then we'll leave the first one, create a pluggable database and then click on next. Now the database has been selected already, so we're just going to click on next. So you can see create a new pluggable database from another PDB and then the template is seed, so it's fine. And then we'll click on next. So what is the pluggable database name? Let's name it dev1, okay? And then the administrator that will use it is dev1 underscore admin and then for the password um let's do ebony a very simple password that we can remember and then we say ebony again so click on next click on continue yes and then click on next and say finish now this will take a while. So um, from here, I would like to pause the video till this entire process is complete. Okay, so you can see pluggable database dev one plugged successfully, right? So let's close this. And then let's also create the second pluggable database. So again, I'm trying to call up the database configuration assistant. So we are here again, and then as usual, manage pluggable database and then click on next, create a pluggable database, click on next, and then click on next. All right, so we're going to click on next at this page as well. Then the pluggable database name is dev2, right? And then the administrator name, the DBA that will be connected to this database is dev2 underscore admin 
and then the password let's also use a bunny a bunny it's not a strong password but we'll just use it for test purpose okay are you sure you want to continue yes okay ensure that the create default user table space is selected and then click on next click on finish again this will take some time so i'll pause this video until it's done okay so the second pluggable database has been plugged successfully so we can now close this command completed that's fine all right so we're back to our terminal now the next thing we want to do is to connect as the sysdba okay and then we'll alter the session to move into these pluggable databases okay so the first one we want to do is alter session set container equal to dev one session altered now we're going to grant privileges to the two admins that we created that's dev one underscore admin and then dev two underscore admin right so to do that i'll use the command grant dba to dev one underscore admin grant succeeded right and then i'm going to move to the second pluggable database which is dev2 and then do the same so alter session set container equal to dev2 session altered and then i'll do the same thing grant dba to dev2 underscore admin oh sorry grant succeeded now the next thing i want to do is to update the tns names.ora file so that we can connect to this pluggable databases um, using the tns names method so for that I'll come here and say other locations, computer, U01, app, Oracle, product, 19, DB1, and then just press on N to get network folder. And I'm going to click this, open, and then go to admin. Okay, so I'll open this TNS names.ora file. Now you can see we have a lot of entries, okay? We have um, ORCL PDB, we have PDB lab, right? So I'm gonna take this entry now. I'll copy it and then I'll come here and paste and change this name to dev1 and then this one to dev1.com right leave the port at default and then i'm going to paste again and change this one to dev2 and then this one to dev2.com then i'll save and close so that is done for us to be sure let me try to connect the two admin users okay now um i'll issue this command connect dev1 underscore admin slash airborne that's the password at dev1 and then let's see oh the guy is connected 
let's also try to connect the second administrator for the second pluggable database. So for that, I'll issue the command connect dev2 underscore admin slash ebony, which is the password at dev2. So we are good. We can connect both admins, right? Okay, that's fine. So the next thing we want to do is to actually move to the pluggable database dev2. Okay, so let's be sure where we are. Show con underscore name. Okay, we're actually in dev2, right? So what we want to try to do now is create a table in dev2 because we'll be connecting from dev1 to dev2. So let's create a simple table. For this, you know the create table statement already. Create table test link. Okay, so that's the name of the table we are you are creating. Create table test link. And then of course the table attributes ID, which is a number, and then name, which is a variable character to and then the length should be like 50, right? Oh, sorry, I did not terminate the brackets properly. So I'm going to copy this again. Um, so let me properly terminate the bracket. All right, so table created. So you have to be careful when typing. When you open brackets, remember to close the brackets as well. All right, so um, now that the table has been created, what we have to do is to insert values into the table, okay? So for that, we'll type the command insert into test link, that's the name of the table, values. Then open bracket three, because the first one is supposed to be a number. Okay, comma, and then quotation. Maybe we'll type my name to me, you know, and then close the bracket and this. So one row created, right? Now we can select all from test link. Okay, so we have our output. Everything seemed to be working fine. So now that we've successfully created the first and the second pluggable databases, we've created a table in the second database. We've been able to insert values into the second database. We have to now go back to the first pluggable database, that's dev1 because that's where we'll be creating the database link that, that will connect to the second pluggable database, right? So to do that, we'll use the command connect dev1 underscore admin, okay, slash ebony, which is the password at dev1. All right, so we are connected and then we say show con underscore name to be sure. So we are in dev one right now, right? So it's time to create the database link. So for that, we'll use the statement create database link. And then the name of the link is read underscore dev2. We'll enter. And then the next thing to write is connect to dev2 underscore admin identified by 
the password is ebony using dev2 right now the database link has been created so all we need to do now is to run our query against the second pluggable database which is dev2 right so for that i would type the command select star from test link at read underscore dev2 wow so we have our output now the idea is the administrator for the first pluggable database is querying the data from the second pluggable database as though is the administrator for the second database now for this to work it means you need to have the password of the administrator in the second pluggable database okay so guys this is how to create a database link to connect from one database to another to query data from one database to another thank you for watching this video i hope it was interesting to you if it was kindly like it and share it widely and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever i upload another valuable content and i'll see you in my next video bye for now